Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this uh, video clip. Uh, I wanted to talk with you about uh, football. You may be surprised. Uh, probably you have heard that Real Madrid made public the acquisition of the British player uh, Gareth Bale for an amount of 100 million euro. It's a lot of money. And now Real Madrid itself, the Spanish football club, um, has um, a considerable amount of debt. And so what happened, Real Madrid borrowed money from the uh, Spanish bank Bankia that partly finances the deal. But Bankia also has a debt and the European stability mechanism had to intervene um, with an amount of 18 billion euro to prop up Bankia, otherwise it would uh, be bankrupt. So actually what we see here is that a famous uh, football club which has no money, basically debt, borrows money from a bank that also has debt. So who's going to be the final player, or, or rather we say the final payer, that's the European taxpayer. Because it's a Euro taxpayer, European taxpayer who is at risk uh, and who will have to uh, bail out uh, a bankia. So I asked a question about this. First of all the question is, is this not a distortion of competition because there are clubs who have a, a proper uh, balance sheets, who do not build up debt, uh, who take care of everything and stay within limits. They cannot buy a place for an amount of 100 million euro, but Real Madrid can because of the deal it has with Bankia and Bankia being propped up by the European citizen. So this is a question about distortion of competition between European uh, football clubs uh, EU-wide. That's the first question. And the second question is whether the Commission approves that Bankia, which is supported by the ESM, uh, is doing these sorts of deals uh, that are rather risky. And here again, the European taxpayer is the backstop uh, for this extravagance. Now, there are two commissioners that will be responsible for uh, replying to this question. The first one is uh, Mr. Almunia, who is commissioner uh, for uh, competition. And Mr. Almunia is well known as a supporter of Atletico Madrid. So he is really a, uh, an expert. Uh, the second question will be replied by Mr. Rain, Commissioner Rain who used to be an active football player in Finland himself. Uh, probably he uh, ran faster than he spoke. Uh, so uh, I think this is going to be very interesting for, for those who love sport and also football. It is also an important issue because if we look at the European football landscape, it is dominated by only five or six uh, clubs. It's always the same winning. Um, so I think there would be more a sort of a level playing field, if I may use the word in this context. And as, as soon as I have the reply, I will let you know. And thank you for your attention.